How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today let's review the Lyman Digital Electronic Trigger Pull Gauge. This was my favorite out of all the gauges I tested. We tested a handful of um, different manual and digital trigger pull gauges. In fact, I'll put a link below to my website where it's, you can see the video of all the tests we did. You can see all the gauges we used, where I bought them all. You know, all the information. The Lyman Digital Gauge was the most accurate. It came in 99 0.01% accuracy. How I tested accuracy was I just had I had a bunch of weights, you know, I had some Olympic weights and I had some dumbbells. So, you know, you took a two and a half pound dumbbell, tied a string, and then tested it. It should read two and a half pounds. And so that way I was able to determine accuracy for ease of use. I tested it on, you know, pistol, shotgun, AR, rifle, all different kinds of firearms just to get a feel for it. It's it's a little heavy. It, it feels good. It feels like it's well well made. It's a good quality. It has these grooves for for holding it. You can see the you know little grooves, one for each of your fingers and whatever. The uh, pull rod telescopes down into the gauge for easy storage, which is nice. Here's the packaging it came in. I destroyed that obviously, but it comes with a storage case, which is real nice. And so the gauge can just sit in there and keep it up on a shelf, keep it stored, keep it protected. That's nice. It's just a plastic case uh, with the foam liner. Under the foam liner, it comes with the manual, um, how to operate it, everything you need to know. And the readout, turn the gauge on by just pressing ready. The readouts in pounds and ounces, it's easy to read, easy to use. You can, you know, change it from pounds, you can change it to grams, you can get an average, so you can take multiple readings, get yourself an average here. To turn it off, you just hold the clear button. And you can turn it off that way. The gauge does allow you to rotate this. Now, it's only gonna work when it's fully extended and locked into position, but, and it doesn't rotate in this position. But you can push it back down rotate it 45 degrees, lock it back into that position. It'll work here, you know, it'll work there. So left-handed, right-handed, however you want to use it. But let's, let's show how to use it. So in this case, I want it to rotate this way. So that way, when I'm getting in there, I don't have the gauge itself in the way. Press ready. And we got three pounds, two ounces. And that's correct. One thing I need to mention, just by holding this gauge upside down, two point five ounces. I was on average getting two point three ounces. That was affecting my testing, of course, because I'm trying I'm just lifting a weight by a string to do the testing. Now when you're using it on an actual firearm, you're obviously you're holding it level you don't get any, you know, kind of mismatch in the readings like that. So I don't consider that to be a huge problem. Out of all the testing I've done, I like this one the best. I would recommend buying this one. I paid, I think it was for around $45. It might be up to like $48, depending where you go. The link below to my site, I'll show you exactly where I bought it. I got a good price, um, everything like that. Overall, it was a solid gauge. I like the case it came in. And uh, thanks for watching, Neckbone out.